everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Mentor. And today we're going to show you how to get started using Arc Studio Pro. Now, if you just want my initial um, impressions of the software, I'll link that video in the description below. So for, as we're in the dashboards part of the um, program right now, we're just going to simply hit the plus, which will allow us to create a new script. And so we can either import a script and you can see it's really nice that they have all this. This is a really nice feature that I like about Arc Studio Pro. It lays out if we want to import a script, they take um, uh, the uh, final draft, they take fountain, uh, they take PDF or they take Word. So these are very easy. So we're not going to import a script, but we're going to make our own script. And so for the title, let's just say test two. Uh, we can have a subtitle. Uh, in the old days, my uh, YouTube channel was Small Town Movie Critic. I'm just going to write Screenwriting Mentor. Voila. We have a page target. Uh, we have a genre if you want. Let's just do a horror movie because I've been looking at making some more horror stuff. And if you have a log line, you can create all these things at once. And so let's simply, and it, like I said, it's really nice. It walks you right through the steps one, two, and three. So we simply hit Create Script. Bam. And so then now we're in this part of the screenwriting software. If we want to go back to the desk, we simply have to hit that and we can go back to test. Pulls us right back in there. Real easy. <clears throat> As we have looked at uh, this other stuff here in the other pages, uh, let's just worry about the writing piece right now, and then we can sort of look at some of the other features as you begin to uh, get used to, to writing. Now, two things to note. At the bottom, uh, you can go into focus mode, and you simply select that, and then all you have is the writing right in front of you. You can get out of focus mode. Right next to it, it's got it sort of like a challenge mode. So if you want to write for 10 minutes, for 25, 60, 90, or if you want it simply to nag you when I don't write, uh, you can do this as well too. So another wonderful thing there. If, if you need sort of that prompting, you can do that as well too. Again, you can go up here if you want to change the light or dark settings. And again, that's simply up here in the right corner. So let's begin, and I believe I can just hit tab, and tab gets me all the things I need. And so let's start with uh, fade in. Let's see if we can see if it'll, it's right now it's telling me it's an action, so I'm gonna try, aha. So what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna, let's go back out of that real quick. I'm simply gonna click on the man, and we're gonna do scene heading. We're going to do uh, exterior. Uh, the other thing too is we can make it easier. We can do a transition. Let's start with that. Um, let's take that out and do fade in. Perfect. Next thing we do, it wants a scene heading. Since, so this is really nice. It's just, I just hit return. It automatically got to that. Let's do an exterior. Oops. Cemetery Night, since we are writing a horror movie. And then right into the action. And like I said, the nice thing, there we go. So here, uh, like I said, I just, I'm just simply hitting return. There are, I'll just write some stuff here. Wording. How about wandering around the for fresh meat? This is not anything exciting, but just to sort of get in, um, and we can, since we're talking about a character, we have to. And so here, and again, if I want to create a character, we say I'm Jerome, get him to speak, stop. <laughs> and then boom, we can have either another, if someone else is going to talk or anything along those lines. We can just keep working our way. We can change this easily. 
do again action or so the other thing nice thing here when you just click on the icon I'm just left clicking on the icon we have action character parenthetical dialogue shot transition you can add a beat you can have comments you can have formatting so there's a lot of different things and again all I'm doing is just coming up here clicking on this boom it's as easy as this we can continue writing and so I think it's you can see how easy the writing is it's not looking too hard to just go through there again click on here it can tell you all the controls that you need to hit so okay and then over here oops just hit our thing so we have a beat right now it just shows the beats um and then we can hide scenes hide previews and this sort of stuff right here so uh, so this is on the script portion so let's take a look at the board so let's add our first beat um, so let's add a beat and just basically so this is sort of how you can create let's add a couple beats here and see if this is sort of like a corkboard type of function so we can see how that works so untitled beat grave yard beat down all right so let's add another beat um, this is going to be the vampire showdown let's add another beat um, and let's see what else can we do for this one um jerome i'm going to hospital okay so something along those lines i'm just trying to figure some stuff out okay so all right perfect so open all the beats close all the beats perfect okay all right so we have exterior cemetery we have some untitled scenes so we can, let's see if we can, yep. Let's see if it'll let me switch in. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so I didn't, I got it to switch. So these are sort of acts as your cards. Again, you can add tags, you can assign people to do it. You can do more, move beat to inbox, remove script section. Okay, and I can just click down here and I can add whatever note I want. So this is the beat board, and let's see what you can add. Uh, I can open comments, put a comments. I can add an image. Let's just try that. Okay, I took an image that I had that I'm working on. It's not a vampire, but I thought it looks like a pretty cool image that I'm using for one of my uh, audio dramas that are coming up. So, okay, image for that. All right, so then how do I... Perfect, so I have an image for that. So I just clicked outside of that. Let's see this one is open note open beat and script star the beat so it's interesting like I said you can it's really simple just to get at each of these you can again just carry it down you can add what you want so there's our board we can go to an outline and again start writing here so you can just sort of see you can add a beat into this um, you get a hashtag uh, you can write here let's see you can remove the act break start a new beat delete beat keep script so so as you said it's pretty easy to use arc studio pro and it's very very powerful and it, like i said you're off and running there's not a lot else to know um, you can search it's got a great search function you can open the script you can search in the doc you add a add a beat italics this stuff is, like I said, really easy to use. And you can export it right here. Like I said, everything that you need is right here at your fingertips. There's not a lot that you need to really worry about. So what do you think? That was pretty quick, wasn't it? About nine minutes it took us to get through all the basics of using Arc Studio Pro. It's a real easy program to use. Uh, give it a try. Like I said, they have a free version. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I normally do a pretty good job of getting back to people within 24 to 48 hours if people have a question. And if you have an advanced question, let me know, and I'll do my best to help dig out the answer for you. Well, until the next video, live well and write well.